So remember when we open this one, Portraiture or Retouch for me or Evoto, they kind of look like a different software, right? Like this. They don't look like a panel. They look like a different software. They, these have the capacity to do something which the native Photoshop cannot. Okay, so these are different from panels and hey, hey, you have a chance of AI working and, you know, the whole process being one click. So just wanted to spend a couple of time, uh, a couple of minutes to make you understand the difference between plugins and panels. Plugins is usually what's preferred because that's, that is what will allow you to do things quickly like this. So Portraiture plugin is a pretty straightforward plugin. There's nothing really to do here. The moment you open this plugin, you can see it's already applied something that is smoothing, that's all it does on the normal level. So you can see the before and after. So if I were to like slightly zoom in, be able to see it does a pretty good job. So you can see here before, after, and this is just on the normal level, pretty real, not of bad quality at all, right? You can see if I was to go to medium, these sliders here will increase. So here, that becomes even smoother. And finally, strong. Will obviously do a lot so you can see here right so strong becomes too much but again it's not a problem you know if i leave it at strong because i'm going to output this to a new layer and i can easily decrease the opacity of this second layer inside photoshop so that's really it if you want you can play around with these sliders okay masking auto mask is on so that it kind of just only works on the skin is going to ignore the other parts so you can leave this on these enhancements don't really work i mean they're going to just change the look according to the kind of the preset that you're selecting here. Not a big fan of that, so you can keep it off. So that's about it. This is pretty straightforward, literally just a one-click method, not even a one-click method, okay? And if you like something, if you want to move around things, you can always save that as uh, a preset by hitting this plus icon and then giving the preset a name and saving it just like we did with Evoto. Now this, I, I like it because this is what... Photoshop was lacking like this will be if we had those neural filters which I showed you about smoothing the skin but I told you one of the things that was missing was we didn't have anything to remove those blemishes like there was no neural filter was that for that if we had a neural filter for that in Photoshop and then we use skin smoothing this is something what we'll probably be able to get so this is what that plugin kind of allows you to do even though that's strong it's too much but let's say if I was to output this to a new layer so it'll just come here and you can see if I zoom in, right, just zoom in, it has removed, right, those blemishes, maybe can you see, oops, just, yeah, now we've been able to get rid of that, you can see, right, it has removed those blemishes or at least even if now you have, it's okay because it kind of looks like texture and even if you now have to do some things, you can literally count it, right. It's like one, two, three, four, and this will still be okay, right? At least better than, let's say, using the spot healing brush tool on the original. Now this, in my opinion, was too strong because we used the strong setting. So let me decrease the opacity. Probably let's find a good balance. So let's say something like at 65%. That's not bad, right? If we zoom out, it kind of gives a good blend of realism and smoothing also with literally just one click, right? And now if you want, you can even now use neural filters if you want on top of this, if you further want to refine this, but at least the main problem is that it does work on the blemishes also unlike the neural filter. So I find this to be good. Now, is it recommended? I'm not even going to go to the sheet and all and evaluate this software simply because of the price that they're asking. Let me show you the price of this software. 